congratulations to the, 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 the guys that were enshrined today. Put those uh, golden jackets on. Uh, you mentioned two of them with uh, Edron James and Peyton Manning. Uh, Troy Palomalu was, was also on that list, as was Jimmy Johnson, who was a, a, a Super Bowl uh, championship coach with the Dallas Cowboys with uh, Emmitt and the, was that, I believe that was the cocaine cowboy years uh, that, that Jimmy Johnson was at the helm. <laughs> he was at the helm for that. That was, that was Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Jackson's run, but we had, we had the hall of fame. Um, you know, I, I watched, I watched a little bit of Edwin James speech and I really loved it because he's a guy who did it his way. And a lot of times, you know, especially like some for somebody who, when I was younger, had braids and had to deal with people talking about, oh, you shouldn't have your hair braided because you might not get this job and this and that and and this, you know, I I, I completely can understand Edwin James, and I'm happy that he did it his way. You know, there was a, people always had something to say about him having dreads. But I, I love what he said in that Hall of Fame speech. <laughs> There's going to be a statue up there with dreads on it. He said, I went from having gold teeth to having a gold jacket. And he earned every inch of thread on that jacket uh, with, with a Hall of Fame career. Led the league in rushing his first year. <laughs> Who does yeah, that? Phenomenal. Who he, does that? People ask me all the time, being from New York, how did I become a Colts fan? And I give them three names all the time. Edwin James, Reggie Wayne, Peyton Manning. I was big on college football. I loved the University of Miami because I had an older cousin who loved that school. And I used to watch Edron James and Reggie Wayne go to work. And I, I fell in love with the team. And once some dudes started trickling over, and obviously Peyton had the pedigree, but when the Colts kept getting those guys, and I'm like, yo, I, I like this team, man. And I wish, I really wish, and I've heard Edge say it too, I wish he wouldn't have left in free agency when he did. The Colts end up winning the Super Bowl the very next season after he left to Arizona. They were close, man. And I wish he could have stayed to win that because they had built up such a, a unique group of talent with obviously Wayne James, they had Marvin Harrison, um, you know, uh, Dwight Freeney on defense. I wish he could have stuck around and won that because that's the only thing missing from his resume. I think he was, yeah. I think he's top five in terms of fastest to 10,000 yards. And for the, for the people that might've been a little too young or don't remember his game, he was probably a more physical version of Le'Veon Bell before Le'Veon Bell in terms of being able to catch the ball, run the ball. Like you said, first year in the league, he led the league in rushing. Him, him, Peyton, and Marvin Harrison were always known as the triplets. So that's the only thing I wish he could have just stuck around at least one more season and won that Super Bowl with the Colts. Yeah, and uh, Troy Palomalu, who, you know, you, and, 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 you know, even, even like with, with the guys that I don't rock with because they're on, on opposing teams, I still give them their respect. I've, you know, as much as, you know, you know rest in peace, Kobe, I, I joke on the show, I've always given him his respect as one of the all-time great players. Same thing with Troy Palomalu, even though he's number two, he's the number two safety all-time to my main man, Ed Reed. I, I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you who, you know, because that's a rivalry. <laughs> yes. You know, you know who I was going to say on that one. So Ed, Ed Reed uh, is the number one guy, uh, but uh, Troy Palomalu, is one of the greatest safeties of all time. And um, it, it almost sucked that he was going to have to miss his Hall of Fame enshrinement because of COVID. And uh, he actually was cleared to go. And uh, he, he made it, he, he made his speech. And I'm happy, I'm, I'm very happy for him because he is a guy who, although you hate that team, you respect those, those guys because they are the best at what they do. So shout out to Troy Palomalu. Uh, Sean Hutchinson, who was the uh, offensive, uh, excuse me, Steve Hutchinson, who was the offensive lineman. He played for the uh, the Seahawks um, for the for the bulk of his career. Was on in, in that in that class as well. Uh, congratulations to him. Um, I, I just I just uh, I, I love it, man. I love it. Congratulations to everybody that that made it into the Hall of Fame class this uh, this year. Well, technically this is the twenty uh, twenty class, but congratulations to all of those guys. Absolutely well deserved and a great class going in. Yeah, we got um while while we on the NFL, Eric, and this is I know this is this is a, a big thing for you as well. Uh, the new Madden will be out in in uh, twelve days. Um, I went down I went down today and uh put my uh and got the uh the the, the pre order 
I went down today and put put a little five on the pre-order. I was I stopped by GameStop. I had to do it. I was like, you know what? Let me get that. And I put ten dollars on the new two K because I had to get the get the hundred dollar one. <laughs> Ain't I need my PC. I need my wrong with that. You know, those are two favorite games here on the show. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? So the, the, the countdown has officially begun. Um, you know, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing what both them games got coming out. I mean, so you you got the five, so you 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 what's fancy lit? right now. It's lit, it's lit. You know what's crazy, bro? Like uh, since one thing that like that always made Madden close to my heart was that. I never had to pay for it growing up because it was always released in August. So I always made somebody get it for me as a birthday gift. So even this year, I got my pops to get it for me as a birthday gift. I told him, and I was like, yeah, man, it's a, it's, it's a 76 right now. He's like, what? I was like, yo, man, the, the price of the hog done went up, man. <laughs> it's the, the PS5 price, yo. <laughs> but I was able to still still get it. So I, I got to pick it up on the, on the, uh, on the 20th. But uh, I'm looking forward to the new Madden uh, uh, dropping. Cause you know, bro, I don't know. I, I get into spurts where it's like, all right, I want to go on a Madden run for a couple of weeks, then I switch. I'm gonna go on a 2K run for a couple of weeks, and I'll just be going back and forth. But for the next uh, two and a half months until 2K official, well, I'm only gonna have a month technically. 2K 2K drops on the 26th of September, so I'm gonna get a solid month in with Madden before 2K comes out. You know what it is with with the Madden man. I realized when I was young is that. It's the excitement of the upcoming football season that draws you in and want to play. Because yes. especially when we were younger, now it's different. Like, you know, people go online and they update the rosters. But back in the day, remember, yeah. you couldn't change the roster. So, you you know, if you whatever team you play with, you want to see the new rookies. You want to see the new guys yeah. they got. And then you're already excited. Like, oh, man, football is about to start, too. So in the same way, it's kind of like with, with 2K as well. Like you said, they, they drop it about a month before the season starts. Mm-hmm. So, you, of course we got to throw the 2K in now because we, we want to see what Kay Cunningham looked like in the game. We, we want to know what these guys look like. So it's always that excitement of the upcoming season, you know, followed up with the game. Exactly, exactly. Uh, congrats to uh, RG3. He is not going to be on the field anymore, but uh, he will be on, in the booth uh, announcing for ESPN as their newest analyst for college football. Um, I love the fact that he was, he was able to transition um, from playing to being an analyst and continue to get a bad come in. Obviously, you know, we know the injuries struck RG3 hard and he was really never able to bounce back after getting hurt in that playoff game uh, against, uh, against uh, Washington uh, when, he got, when he got hurt. He, he was never, with, with Washington, and, and with against, Washington Seattle. against Seattle. Yeah. Against Seattle, yeah. Yeah, and he never really was able to get back to that form. Um, he, he hung around in the league a few years. He, he, he signed with the Ravens a couple of times, but you know, ultimately he, he just wanted to call it quits. But anytime you could transition and get a, get a check, leaving your previous job and right away, you just jump into a new check. That's always a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you had a great, um, college career, obviously Heisman winner and you know, that's one of the things ESPN does do well. They, they normally like to bring back former players or in some capacity. So kudos to him for transitioning and, and finding his next passion now. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, this is Dion Grant from the New York Giants Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh-huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 